We aren't getting any younger. I just checked my YouTube statistics and the typical viewer is at least 50 years old. It's when our bodies start to ache and complain after long rides. Your clutch hand can get a very tough workout, especially if your bike has a heavy clutch or you have medical conditions like arthritis or tendonitis. So here are some tips for a lighter clutch pull. We begin with the cheapest mods. Completely free, maintenance. If you have a cable clutch, the pull will slowly increase over time if you don't lubricate the cable. Also make sure the cable has no tight turns or kinks. Next, clutch lever position. If you have long fingers, move the clutch lever to the right. If you can reach the lever with your index finger, this provides a bit of extra leverage. Another free tip, simply use the clutch less for gear changes. Experienced riders often don't use the clutch for clicking into higher gears. It takes good timing and lots of practice. There's a lot of debate about whether it can cause gearbox wear. See our video discussing this. Our final free tip, if your clutch has six springs, remove two clutch springs. This needs a big disclaimer, try it at your own risk. But quite a few dirt riders do this on bikes that have excessively heavy clutch springs. To date, I have not found anyone who caused damage with this technique. I suspect it would never suit aggressive riders. The 33% reduction in clutch pull will probably lead to clutch slippage at full throttle. But plenty of everyday riders say it has worked brilliantly with no negative effects. Let us know if you tried this and encountered problems. Next, spend $1 on a pile of washers to reduce the tension of your clutch springs. Use washers so your clutch bolts sit further out. The washers need to be small enough to fit inside your clutch springs. Use combinations to get the desired width. The problem, if you use too many washers, the bolts will hit the inside of your clutch cover. I used two millimeter wide washers without problems on my Beta Cross Trainer. The clutch felt about 15% lighter. Search the forums to see if other riders have tried this mod on your type of bike. Do you have $10? Buy one of these and just exercise your hand while watching TV. Next, spend a bit more money and buy lighter clutch springs. Find clutch springs from another bike model that have the right dimensions but less tension. If your clutch uses six springs, you don't need to buy all six springs. You can just buy two springs and make sure they are at opposite positions in your clutch basket. The important thing, make sure your clutch does not slip. Accelerate hard through all the gears and see if there's any clutch slippage. Next, clutch levers that use extra leverage. These are usually for cable clutches. Manufacturers often exaggerate their claims about a lighter clutch pull, but you can usually get a 20% reduction. The problem? The clutch lever needs a lot of movement to work properly. It often needs careful adjustment to ensure the clutch fully disengages. And riders with short fingers may find the clutch lever is too far out. There are plenty of options out there. Do your research. If you have a hydraulic clutch, you can use a smaller master cylinder to achieve a lighter clutch. However, you may have the same issues as a clutch lever using leverage. Adjustment can be tricky and it probably won't suit short fingers. Keen to spend more money? Let's backtrack to clutchless gear changes. A quick shifter eliminates the need to use the clutch when changing to higher gears. It automatically cuts engine power at the right time to change gears quickly and smoothly. But a quick shifter will cost from $300 to $600. If you have a hydraulic clutch and love to spend money, we think the best solution is the Clake One Light Clutch. It doesn't use leverage. It uses a mechanism to store the energy used when you pull the lever in. You can adjust it to make the clutch up to 75% lighter. I have used this on various bikes for seven years. It's an amazing bit of kit. See our review. 
What if you have a cable clutch? There are hydraulic clutch conversions. A hydraulic clutch often has a lighter pull, but generally it's a very expensive way to achieve a slightly lighter clutch. However, there are other benefits to a hydraulic clutch which might tempt you in that direction. Have you tried any of these clutch mods?